they do evil, no one may person talk. Hmm. Them say that my egun, that man too they talk. He too they talk. Say my egun diary, he they hot like pepper. But every day, then they take money in buck. Woman picking, they the street, they hawk. Still them talk, say, make we no talk. But thank God, say, my egun don't come. So my people make you love, like, oh, yo, yo. Hello there. I am Good morning to you. I am Good afternoon to you. And good evening to you from wherever you are watching. Hey, all right. So this is Mayegun live. And thank you so much for joining me again tonight from wherever you are watching from. Share the broadcast. Invite your friends. Invite your not so friendly friends. Uh, tell them that uh, Mayegun today not just that. You can tag the Buari Deans, the Buari Dinnings, the Buari Dinotus, the Buari Dijatus. Don't forget the Buari Shukus, the Ungoziaris, the Uneka Aris, obedient fools, sophisticated morons, ombud slaves, Lagos Abobakus, Oshobuali Majiri. And if you are in any way closer to their own, any group they have out there, just tag all the clans of the Cyberbarians. We are about to start. So we are following their campaign uh, charade uh, trail or the trail of their charade. Kalu is in Kano and what happened in Kano and what are the perspectives from Kano and on others too. I would likely be able to share that with you tonight. <laughs> you are all welcome to the temple of truth t-o-t -T, the temple of uh, truth where mayegun general is the baba geo you can just say geo and ladies and gentlemen brethren you are welcome to tonight's uh, service one of the reasons why a lot of us believe that uh, Nigeria is irredeemable. Nigeria cannot be helped. If anybody care for Nigeria, the right thing to do is to break it up and save lives. Anything else or everything else is just like uh, kicking the can down the road. Why? Just take a look at uh, the system that pop up, uh, the characters that are running the system that are in other way, right, affecting, or should I say, the system that is popping up, uh, popping up uh, criminals who have to oversee and make decisions that will actually impact in the lives of uh, millions of people. The results that you can easily see, tell, even without being a professor of any research, now, it is the system, and that, personally, is the reason why many of us would never, ever eh, invest a tiny bit of us in anything like Nigeria anymore, other than to tell others, too, that when you continue to invest it, you are only wasting away, wasting your life, wasting your time. Ask those before you. 
why did it take them this long? It's because they thought they could do something. No, they couldn't. And you can't. However, take a look at the system, popping them up. Nigeria system represents, you know, if you are looking for the textbook definition of uh, what corruption means, when they call something, when they call, uh, in America, they call them deep states. Now, let me break that down for you. Without government, yeah, I don't think uh, any of us would officially exist to start with, which means without people filling up uh, government positions, making decisions that we end up uh, affecting all our lives, then there is actually no country or no government, no nothing. So a banana republic sort of something that Nigeria has become because wrong people, criminals, are always rewarded in Nigeria. It is what it is. And that is why they say if you can't beat them, you will end up uh, joining them or you will end up dead. So the system pop up criminals who are also protected because they have to make laws, they have to make policy, they have to implement some of their laws, right? They have to appoint judges, they have to all the existence, I mean, existential part of uh, your lives, they have to impact in one or two of them or all of them. Now, these are the criminals who are much like uh, known, right? So how do you expect criminals who have done horrible things just to either get to power or retain that power, horrible things that have affected millions of lives that some of you, some I would love to pretend to say is the cause or maybe is just, uh, just God or blame it on the devil. Horrible, horrible people, Right? And then you want them or you expect them to turn good simply because you have some certain uh, faith in criminals. So people like us don't. So if you look at uh, the system that produces all these people, let's take that of the canoe, for example. Hmm? Somebody was telling me a story about uh, godfathers. So you can take Kolu and the Gandola. I'll use Kano and Lagos. So that person was telling me something about uh, Godfatherism. And he said, people usually believe that Godfathers in Nigeria, what they are mostly after is to control everyone, control everything and the rest of that. But that is not it. It is like a bazaar system whereby, you know, do all you want. Commit all the crime you want, okay? As long as uh, you are not holding me from doing mine too, in government or out of the, that government. So a godfather will come and say, for example, like Kolu. Kolu will be like, uh, everybody who wants to be a governor, oh, sorry, you will be a governor, you will be a deputy, you will be a senator, you will be this or that, and you can do all you want. So when they all come back with what they have managed to use the system to rig in their favor, which is all they do all the time, all they have to do is to give a cut to the godfather. And whatever godfather wants, he can take from the same system that all of them are also, they are also looting, like they are also like a milking. So how do you think? A system that produces this character, eh, suddenly, okay, is going to be a system. So the system that produces its characters and at the same time produced over 130 million poor Nigerians in a space of seven years. Eh? How do you think such system will suddenly turn around eh, and then eh, be in your own interest? So, Gandola who happened to be Kwa Kwanso's uh, deputy, if I am not mistaken, from the same uh, PDP. But in 2015, 
when uh, the governors and all of them were moving to another, I mean, to go and form APC, Ebekebe, Gandola was already a successor. Like, okay, it's going to be the successor. So the first person who used that wave and the thief became a governor in Kano. Mind you, APC, Ebekebe, who came in and promised you that uh, for the first time in your lifetime, you are going to see those who have been feeding their families, who, those who have been surviving on your money, you are going to see them in chains. You're going to see them behind uh, uh, a bars. They're going to go to jail. In your lifetime, you're going to see this. But guess what? It was all a charade. It is like uh, using drug money, okay, to bring somebody to government. And that same government is campaigning to crush drug and all of that in that same country is a pure joke. Those who believe them, they didn't take long before they found out that they bought scam. So, Gandola happened to be the original, uh, what do you call it, the, the, the best template for Bokwari, right, to show to you that... Uh, he has a government that is fighting corruption. So what happened? For the first time, you know, you are going to hear about uh, people stealing money, governors diverting money. Most of the time, those money never goes to them directly. They go to their proxies, their children, wives, uh, you know, friends, girlfriends, and some other people like faceless people like that. So when they begin to trace some of the money and they get to know how they, you know, how they, would, they got the money out of uh, the cover of the state. For the first time, eh, we saw a governor in Nigeria collecting bribe on camera, dipping that same into his own babariga. Eh? And you know what happened afterward? Nigerians, the Buari Dins, the Buari Didinis, the Buari Dinotus, and the Buari Dijatus, the ombud slaves, obedient fools, and sophisticated morons. Their uncles and aunties are brought. The Mumu Madus, the Bele Lecturers, the Mumu Lecturers, the Pro Max, the Abrodian Buari Diots. They quickly came in defense of that. In fact, some said it was deliberate, they deliberately set him up. That is a crime to record a governor without his consent. Almost like joke, like joke, like play, like play. The House of Assembly in Kano declared Gandola. Eh? And then the government of Kano, they declared the whistleblower, they declared him wanted. Seriously, they got him, took him to court, and they charged him for a crime of recording a governor without his consent. All that happened, right, between 2017 and 2018. It came to light in 2018, and by so doing, and the failure of Bokwari at the time, yeah, it was now war. If Gandola was going to go to jail, oh, or he was going to just be like a Bashir Lawal. They will ease him out. Nobody will touch him again. He had to fight for his life. In this criminal enterprise, I am never going to go down. That's exactly what uh, happened to Gandola. It was a state. In fact, the entire Nigeria sponsored the uh, propaganda to turn Gandola to victim. What was that money? I'll tell you. From our researches, which some of the politicians themselves have come out to confess to, Nigeria politicians, the reasons why they will break bank, they will kill anybody just to have access eh, to your government, BDP, APC, whatever. It's simply because there are three different ways, officially untouchable ways, that they get to loot you without any remorse, even looking back or even blinking. And some of you know them, but politicians know them. And that is why, even when they realize that a state that they are planning to go and 
to come and govern. That state is almost bankrupted, though. That state is in so much debt. Salaries are unpaid. Pensions unpaid. Workers and the rest of them are actually unpaid. And so many things like lag, you know, you will still see them. Eh? Looking for billions and billions, harming different people because they want to rule this state still. Why? Three different uh, looting spree. The first of them eh, is that uh, open blank check. They call it security votes. It has become so bad, so worse of a corruption that uh, number one, they are not allowed to account, they are not accountable for it. Any amount of money they say they spend on uh, security votes, right, is legal. Okay? They don't have to account for it. All they have to do is to make sure that, uh, uh, you know, uh, they share the money accordingly. I'll tell you. It's a blank check. There are some states in northern Nigeria that their state governor, eh, their state governors are actually withdrawing over one billion naira every month for security votes. Yes. Some of them are, in fact, escalating or creating different crises in their own different abode just to legitimize their security votes. Gandola, I, I, I may have access to that, on, uh, unchallenged. The second part, which is also the bigger part, of where they also milk you dry and dead, is road construction. Haven't you figured it out? Eh? That uh, for the past 23 years, eh, that democracy started in Nigeria, and every one of those criminals who has ruled every state in Nigeria bragged of constructing the, I mean, almost, almost tarring the entire, their own entire states. So, 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 road constructed. This is so, 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 blah, 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 blah. That is where the kickback comes in. That is where the money laundry comes in. That is where the huge budgeting comes in. And most of this money ended up in private pockets, party pockets, you know, other individuals and all that. Unchallenged. The last one is called procurement. <laughs> procurement is when they will have to write and say, "We need a, we need new, we need new systems." So how many, how many uh, systems do you need? What kind of spec do you need? They will say, "Oh, we need the, uh, uh, we need MacBook, MacBook." I say, "Okay, which one?" They say, "We need one thousand. They, they can write this. They can say they need ten thousand of this." procurement you will never see the 10000 computers okay so that's another one where they you know they always target and that is why some of them will also then go into those who have land for those who come from southwest nigeria you are very, very, you should be very familiar with this you are, when you have omonile in your different states eh you will be so surprised that uh, your state government your state governor it's also in, in, I mean, it's also involved in uh, land grabbing all over your states. You see, all of this is just about what they can get back. And, you know, if they can have access to all of this, and if they have to kill to, to, to keep it, Nigerians have short memories. They are suffering from Stockholm Syndrome. They don't remember anything anyway. So Gandola is about to finish his second. It got to a point whereby, in, I mean, in 2019, eh, the people of Kano felt so embarrassed because of Gandola's uh, video of uh, collecting bribe. Eh? That is why they sack uh, Sanusi Lamido Sanusi. Oh. That's why they dethroned him. Oh. That's why he's no longer the Emir. That's why they created four different uh, Emirates inside Kano. This same Gandola fighting back. Because around that time, it was really, really heavy. But those who were smart, who saw through, eh? immediately the video came out. Bokwari was in Kano. Massive crowd. And he raised his hand up and said, Gandola for a second time. So the same scenario has been played out. Gandola is just being grateful. How much do you think it will cost to mobilize uh, 20,000 people or 100,000 people if you have to pay them to 2,000 naira? Go and do the math. You'll be shocked that... Uh, is such a paltry sum of money, so tiny bit of money. And in this case, eh, last night, 
Ghanaian dollar and call the return from uh, Saudi Arabia. But before we get to that, eh, let me just refresh your mind, refresh your memory, and see if you own a uh, if you are not suffering from Stockholm syndrome or what have you, to give you the picture of the characters who are going to continue with uh, Nigeria, and then you are building hope on that, and it, just like you did in 2015, and some of you renewed that in 2019, majority of them are, a lot of them are no longer alive to actually participate in the 2023. You don't build hope. Eh? You don't give the key to your house. You don't give a thief the key to your house, okay? And then you are now hoping that uh, he, he won't steal it. What kind of uh, tomfoolery is that? Eh? This is the genesis of the Barbariga mobile banking in Kano. Ladies and gentlemen, Gandola. Somebody said that uh, my ego save our data. Baba, I'm so sorry. Eh? I wish I could save your data. Only you can save your data. Maybe you should watch this in part. I don't even understand this save data, save data of a thing. Except if you are watching from Nigeria. We are going on a roll on a program that is going to last for three hours. And we are just... 20 minutes into it. You better save that your data, brother or sister. Hmm? Well, that's just the part of Gandola collecting the part of his $5 million bribe. He wanted it in cash. And these are the pay, the kickback, the bribe, the contractors who are constructing roads, who are constructing uh, uh, bridges, who are constructing this or that in Kano. Something that should probably be 10 Naira. They will have to call it uh, 40 Naira times four. So for the governor, you pay governor. You settle commissioner. You settle this. You settle that. And the governor doesn't want his own money to go to anybody. He wanted it himself. Bring it to the governor's house, please. And they were giving it to him to confirm it. He was counting it. That's just a part of it. A $5 million bribe. One hundred and forty-five thousand. No. The DGB the team. Oh. 
Kamu saya muka tak hilang kat dalam gemik awak. Aljuh kan saya pada mana dia? Forty five thousand. The digit the not to fifty then. Okay. Nashi, no kuma one. One of the haga thirty. No, my thirty. Twenty five five twenty five thousand. Mm-hmm. 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 one hundred and forty five. One hundred and forty five. Yeah, one forty five. Now, when we come to fifty, the Akabashi, we come to fifty, we come to thirty five, thirty seven, thirty seven million five hundred. Mm-hmm. So, so it's just to refresh your mind, refresh your memory, not just you sitting down there and be like, okay, I, I think I remember. I think I remember that. No, that's what happened. That's exactly what happened. Okay. So during the 2019 uh, presidential campaign or whatever, debate, rather debate or question, whatever, I don't know. Bokwari and Pastor Ruga, eh, they met with uh, Kaderia and this same question popped up. That was where Bokwari Diskama eh, started acting like a person we get with in dementia. Done the day active that time, a pretentious scam. Listen to him when they ask him about Gandola. Listen. Comment on this matter, and people are surprised they saw you on a podium with him, raising his hand and campaigning with him. Uh, that's not true. No, um, I, 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 will, I will defend myself on that. Um, mm-hmm. I haven't gone to Cairo yet. Well, I have just uh, gone to. Um, could be today in my venue. That clip somebody brought it to me how the governor of Kano said we were receiving dollars and smiling and putting it into his pocket. I don't know the extent of the technology they use and I can't understand it. Now, because the state assembly has taken it, they have gone to court, I decided you know, not to talk about it. And uh, I, uh, the state assembly, constitutionally, they could have dealt with that. But then I gave the matter of state and support. Okay, but what, what, are, what, 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 are, what are your thoughts about that video? Do you have any personal thoughts? 
do you believe that video is fake or do you believe it is legitimate? Yes. Oh, okay. and, and you I can told, talk for yourself. You know. <laughs> and I told you, I, I had seen the clip. Um, I, I don't know how much technology was used, but can get you the safe to trust somebody to get the money to him? He has, he has to take it directly himself to my I, I, I honestly am completely overwhelmed and, and the system has given me some relief. It is in the court, it is in the state assembly, so let them as much as possible deal with it. But Kano, this, is, this thing has received a lot of publicity and I hope uh, by the time I go on my campaign for re-election, there will be some answers from the court or the state assembly in country about the Abbas Kama Bukwari, that's the answer he gave. Suddenly, me demand that came to fight corruption. Eh? Was then pushing the responsibility to the state assembly or court. And suddenly, he is overwhelmed. I am overwhelmed. And his own surprise in all of that was that ah, Gandola had to go and take the money himself. He can't even get somebody to take the money for him. The same with me, how they do. Even me, Bokwari, we sit down here. You can never see me collect anything from anybody. Eh? People are handling that for me. That's, 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 that is something. Then he's talking about uh, when he goes on his campaign, he's going to ask for, he's going to ask for answers. So, Gandola, on the day of election, what happened in Kano? Giddy, 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 Gandola, don't they lose? So, APC, they have been routed, though. Before you know it, oh, inconclusive election in Kano. They had to postpone election in Kano by a week. You don't forget, 2019. Eh? Despite all of that crowd, despite all of that noise and everything that uh, even Boko everybody, they had to make sure that uh, they stop Kano election. Die minute, postpone it, rig it. The person that conducted the election in Kano, that man, they killed him. Uh, I neck uh, returning officer being Koko for Kano. They killed him. They killed his uh, family to erase the everything come out. Gandola can't come back. Blazing hot. The first casualty. Sanusi Lamido Sanusi. Bass. No more Emir of Kano for you. Get out of here. And in appreciation that uh, the APC, the more criminal you are, the more reward there, the more reward you are going to get. So if you want to go, you either go hard or go home. And these are the characters that are promising you hope. I don't know where you're getting that from. But I have been told that, uh, you know, slaves, they love their chains. Not even in this daytime and this, you know, in this generation that uh, the slaves are no longer walk about, walking about uh, in chains anymore. The chain of slavery is now here. Your mental slavery. So you emancipate yourself from mental slavery. That's a very strong thing. Because this is slavery that uh, religion, tribal, political, and all that nonsense that, that they have fed you with, that will always make you so happy and so joyous when you see your slave masters. I mean, I, I don't know how that feels, but uh, I would never feel good, right? Having to live through and then I build my hope on thieves. Thieves. You get what I mean? Eh? So, Kalu... Uh, Kalu was in Mecca. That's something that uh, you can say, you know, uh, God. Sometimes you wish that uh, God is man so that he can see the evil of these people. When they go to Mecca, they just hold them, you know, like if you are a criminal that have uh, contributed to what is going on in Nigeria and you are going there to go and pray in Mecca, or you are going to that Jerusalem, eh? Let's say if this whole thing, right? If they really want to deal with, they wish they are human. That God is man. I be that they talk. Them. They just deal. So once you they go around the Kaaba, 
the Kaba will just drag you, pa, like magnet, suck you in. Say, you don't go. Say, Kaba, don't suck Nigeria president. Say, he must be a very bad person. Everybody will be celebrating in Nigeria. But they say, God, no be man. So, don't let us wish. So, Kalu was in Mecca, Saudi Arabia, praying to Allah to, to make him your president. And he's already working about like, you see, I have said this many times, though. Here you get. Me, my Yegun, I won't be one of the people that will feel surprised or shocked or pretend to be shocked. Eh? If APC, Egbe Kegbe, declare Tifnumbu as your next press idiot. I won't be shocked. I will just wake up the following morning and say, Oh, yeah, oh, Ava, how you go be now? Because he's the only person that is parading the active, powerful, vindictive criminals who are like connected. Even if the party, the APC, Egbe Kegbe, is already in shambles. If you look at every of them, you will see that uh, who has the capacity to unleash the biggest of the biggest mayhem in their course of seeking power, Tifnumbuni. So they were all there in Gimi Mecca to go and pray to Allah. The Johnny Messi, the Umuradi, blah, 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 blah. So when they returned, Gandola already assembled the Mullahs in Kano. He already assembled the Izalas, the Tijaniyas, with just one single mission. When Ashiwaju land, he's going to meet you going to pray for him and then you're going to actually approve of him are you interested of course they were immediately call landed he engaged with the mullah listen to what he told them before we go to their town today this was last night by the way here has begun and everywhere we'll close the book Hard for physical book, not the character. A new year begun, but the eternal truth remain unchanged. We are all here because of the compassion, mercy, and beneficent of Almighty Allah. There is nothing a man can do without the permission of Allah himself. We cannot leave the lightest thing, accomplish the simplest task without his Allah's and blessing. Yet, with Allah's favor, that which seems difficult for individual and nations. Something beyond the rich become easy and are convenient and accomplished by us through the blessing of Allah. We exist not on our own, but do the will of Allah. Thus, may I express my profound gratitude to Almighty Allah for bringing me back to Kano. Why? Because Kano is historic and very special to me. It's my home. And what I have just said about Kano extends to the entire Northwest. Northwest, Northeast, North Central, the entirety of Nigeria as a nation that I am very, very committed and patriotically, patriotically ready to serve. I've 
try to be faithful and dutiful servant. I try to improve the Lord of our people, no matter who you are. I thank all my, Almighty Allah for the opportunity to meet you all on this great occasion. I am humbled by the attendance. I can hardly see a last head or the last line of this all. I believe we are in thousands. I thank Almighty Allah for the opportunity to meet you all on this great occasion. I am humbled by your attendance and the warmth of your reception. You, all the genuine leaders of faith, represent the spiritual, moral, and ethnical backbone of our nation. This sacred duty Allah has placed on you I pray he continues to give you the wisdom and rectitude to fulfill this great vital duty our nation needs. It. Without your guidance and counsel, the nation cannot attain the place of that Allah has said for us. May he grant us that grace and privilege more and more. We must neither disregard nor miss our appointment with, the, with our great destiny. Instead, we must rededicate ourselves to work harder and better because of it. A more prosperous, compassionate, tolerant, and safe Somebody said that Ted, your own ear is paining them now. Just listening, like it's like he's forcing it and all of that gets. Okay. You would prefer the time when he is not reading it. So that uh, uh, we can pick lines. Oh, yeah, you don't drop a mulamba. Those are the times when he's not reading. Okay. And usually they just try to make sure that uh, he reads. Just read. Follow the script. They've always been telling him, but once in a while, he will always give us something, and that is Kalu. And you're going to probably see that uh, in what happened uh, in Kano today. But talking about last night, Izala, you know those ones they call Izala, Izala movement. You remember them? Conflicts for jihad. You remember them? You don't? Okay, don't worry. Just shy. Oh yeah, just just they play. Chogbo, you don't remember them? Izala movement. Tijania. Anyway, they finally said, with Kalu, it will like say, it don't say to Muslim, Muslim tickets for the Izala. Hmm? Bas. Approved. Your Excellency, Abui of Oyot, our governor, the Chapelier of the Mujib, permit me to speak in the language of the Islam of Oyot. Babawa, Eka Boleki, Ema Kabon Kanuwa,
And not today, I'm a part of that team. I'm a friend you look up. Some of you are like, ah, is he, why is he speaking Yoruba? And, uh, 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 eh? You know that uh, before Bokwari and gang, before they came, mm -hmm. eh, it wasn't like this suspicious. People have always been like, uh, you know, living everywhere until the dominance factor presented and brought by the Bokwari APC put everybody back in their place. So don't pretend that you are hearing a, a full -name man speaking uh, Yoruba. You probably will be surprised when you hear a full -name, or someone speaking Igbo. It was never this bad until these criminals widened that gap of those differences of ours. Now, they can't even mend it anymore. They can't. So, the following morning, this morning, this, uh, what do you call it? The mobilization team, everybody. This is Gandola's day. If not because of something, something last minute uh, change, today, Gandola would have been uh, Tiff Numbu's running mate. Honestly. Gandola, instead of uh, the shitty man. Gandola would have been the... Nevertheless, he's already been penciled down to be your secretary to the government of Nigeria. And some said, El Rufaya will be your minister of defense. So, one way or the other, Tifnumbu is walking about like uh, the awaiting crown prince. Like they say, crown prince. Just waiting for his coronation day to become king. So today, eh, eh, Gandola gave him another taste of Kano. So they rode on an open uh, roof uh, bus. Let's take a tour of uh, what happened in Kano today. Uh, a gradual one, by the way, just pieces by pieces. Eh? <laughs> Sorry, don't feel too annoyed, annoyed okay? Because I still have a lot of them in pieces, like I told you, that I'm going to show to you. This was them on their way to Sony Abacha Stadium, right? I mean, you have to make an impression on your mark, shouldn't you? Gandola needs to make an impression, okay? And with what is already in stock after the incident of 2018, He's got so much to be thankful for and he's got so much to prove to show that uh, it could still be much like a very much useful and valuable. Anyway, here is another one. They paid well, I've been told. <laughs> Also, by the way, there is an... <laughs> mm -hmm. 
told you, they are in pieces. Pieces, pieces, pieces. Just like uh, instead of uh, pictures, you can see them as motion pictures as well, right? Here is another one. Even though same people are going to come out again, the day Kwakwanso, they will say Kwakwanso shut down Kano. All they have to do is to just take off the the yellow cap and put on red, and then you see the amount of the same people. The day they say Atifku is also coming, right? The same set of people will be seen as well, putting on whatever Atifku gives to them, and it is just the season. Imagine having to participate in. Uh, Three, four rallies in your canoe in a week, and they are giving you two, two thousand naira or a bag of rice or something, whatever they are giving to you. You might actually not know that is a job, and it is also the horrible image of what they have now turned people to. These are not party members, so these are citizens who came out to see what they could get. For those who have who were mobilized, and for those who just came out to see the glimpse and see well, what's going on. It was uh, what it was. So when uh, Kalu got to the stadium, finally, they said it took him about two hours. They say, this lady was so saying something. <laughs> Edu Betty or Betty Edu. She is the a woman leader or women leader for APC. Didn't you recognize her? She was in London. One of those who answered questions uh, that people asked uh, Kolu in London, Shutter Mouse. She was one of those answering them. Ashwaja's government is going to. Ashwaja's government is going to. We are planning to. to, 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 to. Yeah, that's her. In Kano alone. Eh? They've already written over 4 million uh, votes for Kolu there. Gandola has already pledged that. But with Kwakwansu and the rest of them in also in the picture, some consider this as uh, a means of a cash out. I said, it's not, I don't, I mean, it's not a cash out. Some of these guys eh, following Kolu, they are not being paid or given money. I'm talking about the likes of all this, uh, you know, it's like, uh, you know, we have to be there. Eh? To save our own head to whatever. Gandola is a big, big giant thief. And to him is money to bench any kind of godfatherism in Kano. So it's not about money. It's probably just about, I don't know. Don't mind me, please. There were others who also mobilized for the meeting in uh, in Kano. They are state governors, by the way. See their faces. Did you see who I saw? Eh? You saw what I see, or did you see what I saw, or who I saw in that gathering? 
Uh, let me show you again. Maybe you pick it. Did you see him? Hmm? Alimo du Sheriff. Eh? The man that is considered to be the founder of Boko Haram. The one that said, all of you are calling me founder of Boko Haram. Eh? You don't have a clue. You have no idea of a man called Kashim Shetima. If you begin to ask, well, who is Kashim Shetima? You realize that uh, I, I was a governor who also worked with uh, Shetima, as well as uh, uh, Yusuf, with Muhammad Yusuf, the man that was uh, an Islamic scholar uh, in Borono. Islamic scholar in Borono, Ahmed Yusuf, who became used by Ali Modu Sherif for his own uh, political governorship campaign in 1990, I mean, sorry, in 2003. Now, after Ali Modu Sherif became governor of Borono State, he appointed uh, uh, Muhammad Yusuf as a personal, a personal advisor on youth and so, 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 whatever. Okay? Now, for some reason, something happened eh, that... Uh, they framed up uh, Muhammad Yusuf and he lost favor with uh, the governor. And before you know it, he was declared wanted, arrested. And then uh, before anybody could say Jack, they tied his hand, they tied his leg, they shot him close range and killed him in police custody. The police report said he was trying to escape from the police. How could somebody you tied his hand, you tied his leg, like a Christmas goat, eh? How could you say that person was trying to escape from you? That was the genesis of Boko Haram. So what was the relationship between uh, uh, Shetima and Muhammad Yusuf? Ali Modu Sherif told us, I am a wrong person. Yes, I was the governor. I gave them the chance. I gave all of them the opportunity to be there. Yes, they worked for me. But I am actually not the ones in charge. That guy is in charge, and his name is uh, Kashim Shetima. I didn't say that to him. But they are all like uh, bodies now, and they were in Kano today. Finally, when Kolu came on stage, made it to the stadium, he told them, see, I am just here to dance. To dance victory dance. I am not here to campaign in anything. But in his words, Kolu. Nigeria! <laughs> Nigeria! Nigeria! So, you see the money right here? I want to be live in a straight time here, Nigeria. Today, I've come home to Kano. All I want to do is dance. I want music. Bye-bye. Okay. God will protect your family. God will help you. I just want to dance. They played music. Kolu, I don't I was expecting a dance, like you know, all of that. But he couldn't even dance. But he, he was shaking like that. That's it. The whole everything today was just to tell them that. Uh, God will protect your family. God will protect you. 
I will fulfill my promise. He didn't even make any promise. Or did he? Did he make any promise? No, he didn't. He said, thank you. Bye-bye. That's what he said. I mean, listen. Nigeria! 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 So, you see the money right here? I want to be live. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Is it not Awusubilai Minoshetani Rajim, Bismillah Ramani Rahim? Is that not in that order? Or is it Bismillah Ramani Rahim, Awusubilai Minoshetani Rajim? Because Awusubilai Minoshetani Rajim, Awusubilai, Awusubilai, means, you know, what Christians will say, Misa, Misa, Tani. God separate me and Satan and Satan. Misa, Misa, Tani. Awusubilai Minoshetan. Rajim, God, separate me from Shaitan, the person of uh, destruction, of ruin. Any be, any echo. Eh? Is that not it? Aleti lule genje ba. He knew that he was in Kano. And he wanted to sound like a allergy, true, true. You know, they told him, they said, he is a fake allergy. They don't believe he's a Muslim. To make sure that uh, they can trust him that he's a Muslim, okay? He had to go into an unconventional way of pairing a ticket that would tear Nigeria apart. He knows that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you go to hell. Anyone win and win. No matter anything. Oh, win and win. When we win, we'll discuss that later. Because they say, Bismillah, Ramon, Rahim, I also be like, Minosh. or maybe my own uh, uh, Quranic recitation is rusty. Help me, help me, help me. Nigeria! Yeah. Nigeria! Yeah. Nigeria! Yeah. Yeah. So, you see the money right here? I want to be live in a certain energy. Today, I've come home to Kano. All I want to do is dance. I want music. If you are not a Yoruba man, you understand, okay? Alaji Khalifa, Khalifa Ahmed Tinumbu. After after the Bismillah Ramon Rahim, I will be like Mino Shetani Rajiv. The man said, To. And then he said, I, I, I want to dance. So they gave him music. Avibiti Baba Shongu. Then turn to God. It's a pure joke anyway. You, if you are laughing, it's because it is a joke. That's the part some of you would love to hear anyway. So I don't understand Awusa or this language. But somebody already told us this. The last time Kalu was in Kano was in November, where they arranged something similar like this. But somebody came out to say, hmm, hmm, <laughs> hey, it will be one of the shock how Kano, APC, Egbe, Egbe, they are not waiting all of you are seeing, you know, I don't understand, I'm not there. But this guy, they said he's part of a Gandola's uh, government. Just a reminder before I go to the next one, if you don't mind. Your Excellency, Irasai Anas Abadala, 
What message do you have that you intend to pass across to the public in a time like this, and especially today that the presidential candidate for APC enter Kano State? Well, all glory to the Almighty God. First and foremost, just as I said in our recent conversation, that APC as a party does not have support or regard for the public. And now God in his own might and wisdom has established what we said. Because as Yuaju Ahmed Tinubu has come to Kano State, and visibly, the people did not come out to welcome him as they ought to, meaning they do not accept him. What made the people to do that? We that are in government and in the center of APC. We think that no one else has sense. We are the only sensible people. We are the ones that will use the strength of government and money as an instrument. But now the people of Kano State has been given the money to welcome Tinubu. They collected the money and ate it, and everybody has gone to his house and sat down. For example, let me give this example. Those listening should listen to what I'm about to say. The Minister of Works, former Lagos State Governor Fashola, came out and spoke clearly and openly that at the coming of President Buhari, as at the time he came in, 8,000 kilometers of roads has been constructed all across Nigeria in the past seven and a half years we have spent in government. But in these seven years, 5,000 plus of those roads went to the Yoruba states. 5,000 plus. The remaining 3,000 kilometers here in the northern part of Nigeria, three over four of those roads has not been completed. Is this same Fashola that refused to allow them to give us light? He's the one that stopped everything related to the reviving of our light here in the northern part of Nigeria. After our passenger, it was what he did to us that led to the elimination of our light. And now he comes out and plays Fashola. And this Fashola is Tinibu's boy, the former governor of Lagos. But today, it's our own people that are going to publicize Tinibu. This Fashola, everything he will do in his life, he must consult Tinibu. And now he's shamelessly coming out to say that over 5,000 kilometers of the roads constructed are in the Yoruba state. Our brother is ruling. And we here, apart from loss of lives and properties, we have nothing. Another disturbing issue is the fact that President Muhammad Buhari is the Minister of Petroleum. He is the National Minister of Petroleum for the past seven and a half years. NNPC, the body responsible for refining crude oil for the nation, came out with information that a recharge card, listeners should hear me well, recharge card, they bought a recharge card of 20 billion naira in one year. 20 billion naira. Buhari is alive and is ruling this kind of government. Now, to welcome visitors from gate to office, to eat biscuits, drink minerals, and bottled water, they spent 13 billion naira in one year. So when you join the 20 billion naira in, in the 20 billion naira and 13 billion, it will sum up to 33 billion naira for only biscuits, reading newspaper, and recharge card. And Buhari is the leader of this government. So which poor man will come out and say he will come and engage in any of such things? Since Nigeria was established, this kind of injustice that has been done by APC government has never been done to the north. Vice President is a Yoruba man. The Speaker is Yoruba. Go and see the injustice that has been done, just considering the things that the Vice President did under the trade and money market. Go and consider the injustice the Speaker finally at the National Assembly displayed, taking privileges to their own Yoruba section. And now they come out that we should carry our votes again and give it to Yorubas. Um, Your Excellency, do you think that this means that um, we are not supposed to, they are not supposed to be elected or what? They are not supposed to be elected. Any poor man that go ahead to, to vote APC at any level in election. On the day of judgment, God will punish him for putting the people of Nigeria in problem. Especially we here from the north. We are those that set up APC. We are the people in the government of APC. We have cheated the masses. President Buhari, even now his wife has come out. The world had her say that they want to apologize to Nigerians because of what they ought to do. She said, whether they have done it 
it was done or it was not done we must apologize to nigerians the answer is that it was not done what ought to be done was not done now you hear everything has gone up rice rice 2500 naira. today i am in kano in the city of kano now from my from me to my grandfathers we are all in the gist of kano a liter of oil is 250 to 300 naira. since this place was established we have never seen evil like this one apart from weakening our wealthy people uh, any occasion comes up somebody has to sell his family inheritance to give money even they have to sell farmland somebody will sell the land he inherited from his father who inherited it from his grandfather because they kidnap his son or his relative to go and give the money as ransom all of this happened on that buhari's leadership we are in the government it's necessary that we declare the truth because on judgment day god will ask us whether you are a muslim or a christian god will ask you the right of this our uh, masses for that reason just as the prophet declared anybody we think can do such a thing let's tell ourselves the plain truth as a party apc we cannot handle this work at all if buhari is leading a house man a full animal a muslim from daura and a human being is born alive in sokoto a pregnant woman was set ablaze their children in Zamfara State were packed and killed. Their corpses were thrown in a well. Buhari has never gone to sympathize with their people. So what will Ahmed Bola Tinubu do? A person that cannot stand for two minutes. For two minutes he cannot stand and you go to vote for him. Buhari from Dora, Dora, the Dora that originate from the north is the real houses. is leading. A Muslim is leading and they will enter a village and kill women. Somebody is standing in his presence. They will rape his daughter and kill her before his presence. And you are, you are, and you are here talking. Yeah. We find